Hey everybody, I have a new wish haul for you and I am going to start it off with an item that if you see my uh, review video on the Wish Star community yesterday, you'll probably get a laugh out of um, how a cute little unicorn pen confounded me for like so long and the issues that I had and my son had to fool around with it to get it to um, all the colors to come back up again. This is the pen in question. It is a cute little pen that says unicorn have a sweet dream and it has all the different colored inks on it um, similar to those big purple big pens uh, that you can get that have the different colors going around but with the big pens you push a color down, use it, and then you can push another color down and it pops up. Well, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately, with these kind of pens. Um, you basically have to push down on the unicorn head, I was told by several wish stars, and the color will pop up. I was kind of like moving it around and squishing it and trying my darndest and it wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't work. So. I feel a little bit silly that a pen got the best of me yesterday, but it does work. All the ink is, is fresh. And so, um, needless to say that I can give it to my granddaughter soon. And I'll just say to her, when you want to switch colors, just push the unicorn head down. Simple. I just hope she doesn't watch my videos on the Wish Star community and find out how difficult it was for Nana to figure out how to do it. But anywho, um, this little pen was a dollar and a dollar shipping. And because I had labeled it in my video as an epic fail, I did um, submit an update saying that, you know, my son did get it to work and everything. A few people on Wish Star Community did tell me how to work it. I don't see my update posted yet, but I did submit it and I hope they post it because it's important um, now that I got it working. It's no more than fair to do so. So I've been checking, keeping my eyes out that that does post on the Wish Star community um, that I got it working. Oh boy. So yeah, that was my weird moment yesterday. Uh, next I am going to show off is a set of unicorn clip lens and these are for cell phones. I actually did try these on my cell phone. There is a fish eye, a macro, and a wide angle lens. Um, it's actually not a bad little set of lenses. I guess it would be good for, you know, if you do photography and want to experiment a little bit with different approaches. It did come with caps so the lenses don't get scratched which is really good. Um, this is the macro lens and then the wide angle lens is on the other side. Um, you can remove it and like switch it around and here is the cap to protect. This is the clip that clips on um, over where your camera is on your cell phone. It's pretty sturdy. Like I said, I've used it on my phone. And I have the cap on this one as well. This is, oh god, tell me I put the cap on too tight. <laughs> Why do these things happen to me? I don't know. Help. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes, tell me I attached this too tight. Let me see here. Good gods. It's just not my day with uh, things, is it, lately? Ah, right, here we go. Okay, so this is the fish eye lens. Um, I don't know if I would really personally use that much. I think the wider lens and the macro lens, I would probably go for more, but it's cute to experiment with and fool around with. And when you take everything out of the tray, you can put it in this little black velvet bag uh, to hold everything so it doesn't get scratched up. 
and I mean for the price you really cannot complain that was a dollar and a dollar shipping so I mean you can have a little fun with photography this is a pretty good little set to uh, you know experiment with and try out so that's not a bad little item uh, next I am going to show off this adorable unicorn necklace that I found for my granddaughter I did get her one for Christmas and a pretty bracelet that matched um, it was basically a silver unicorn one was on the little uh, bracelet and the other one was just the necklace and this one is a little more glittery and sparkly it has pretty colors on it um, and this one has a chain with the extender which I really really do like I think that is so super pretty I mean look at that sparkle that is absolutely adorable for any young girl who loves unicorns this is so super pretty and here is the extender on the chain and this unicorn necklace was free just pay two dollars shipping definitely a really pretty item um, if you have any granddaughters or daughters that like unicorns this is really super pretty definitely I think an item that unicorn lovers will will like and if I can get in the bag okay so I have found and this is really super cool and I am like so excited um, I have found on wish that shopping for underwear in lots turns out to be economical and actually oh my gosh the quality of these items is like really really good I am super super impressed really am impressed um, this is a lot of boy shorts that I got and I mean like I love this design that is on the hip right there that is so so pretty and all these pairs are like that it is a lot of six this is the pretty blue very pretty this is like a, a more of a rose pink a real pretty white pair I'm wearing the black pair right now actually and here is the light pink now based on reviews I went a size up I went with an extra large and I can tell you that these are made like really really good double stitching with the elastic double stitching on the seams double stitching all over and the sewing on these is better than some items I see in department stores so I am really really impressed well this lot of boy shorts uh, was nine dollars and six dollars shipping and if you happen to price underwear uh, sometimes one pair of underwear can be over five six dollars easy and just be plain not even fancy so this lot fifteen dollars for six pair I mean that is a really good bargain plus their their quality they're made really good and I also ordered uh, a cute set of bikini underwear as well um, which I went with an extra large also again just based on reviews and these I went with the flowers I thought that they were just so pretty I don't really have anything flowered um, I've been going more with like solid colors so it's spring soon around the corner I hope and I just I don't know I wanted flowers I am definitely um, going to go back to these particular vendors and um, order some more when I get my check different styles because the quality and the value you can't beat it now these were ten dollars plus seven dollars shipping and again you know like it's a really good bargain when you find a quality item um, again the double stitching and everything they are made really really good for for uh, you know the price so definitely something worth uh, 
worth getting. Next I have, and these are really, really pretty. Um, they aren't for me, uh, but they are, they, they are for a friend. But they are super, super pretty. They are, ah, I'm going to try to connect it. They are a couple's necklace. Um, they are halves of a heart that fit together. And I'm going to try to connect this so you can see what, what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. This is the heart when it is connected like so. It is super, super pretty. Um, I think the chains could be maybe just a little bit longer, maybe like 18 inches. They're only 15. Um, but these are really, really pretty. Um, they're stainless steel. And um, they both say I love you on them. They have the little uh, rhinestones or cubic zirconia set on them. The chain is stainless steel. And I believe the hearts are stainless steel too. So, you know, these are going to last and hold up. So these were super pretty. Um, these were free with $3 shipping. So a nice little item for couples that are dating or maybe an anniversary or something. Really, really cute. As I said, they're not for me. I'm single, but a friend um, asked me if I would get them for her. So I did. Next two items and the last two items that I actually have in this haul. Um, some of you may think, okay, what is going on with you? Well, let's just say that I just wanted to see like what the quality of some of these items would be. And also, I don't really have lingerie anymore. And that's because, um, one... I have an adult child living with me in an apartment with no doors, not very proper to wear stuff like that. Two, um, I had next years ago that just like basically threw away a lot of my lingerie um, because my son's father had got it for me and he didn't really like me wearing it. I probably should have thrown him out a lot sooner than I did. but. Yeah, I sort of let him get away with it. And over time, I really haven't had a need for it, you know. Um, but I've seen some really pretty things and I thought, well, you know what? They will make me feel nice. Even if I only wear it out under something, I will feel special in it. And that's the way I'm starting to think anymore. Like, it's about me now at this point in life. And so, without further ado... I ordered a really, really cute, um, it is a baby doll set, and yes, it has skimpy little, mm -hmm, lace underwear with it, um, mine is a large, and for anybody who says, like, well, it's a little bit short, um, I think you tend to forget that. Um, this type of lingerie is sort of made to be a uh, short baby doll. Essentially is short, usually like right above your thigh. So, I don't know, you know, um, if that's an issue for folks, I'd say maybe order a size up, although I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make. All I know is that I tried it on and it just felt so nice on my skin. Um, the stitching is like really, really good on this. Very, very nice. Like a well-made item. Um, and this really pretty set was $4 plus $5 shipping. Um, I think it's, it's a nice well-made set. Again, you know, I guess it's a matter of preference when it comes to the length. And the last but not least is, haha. Uh -huh, something I have not worn in years. Um, at one point I was actually afraid to even try to wear a pair of these because when I was my heaviest last summer at 153 I did try uh, to wear thigh-high stockings and embarrassingly um, I found that I couldn't even get them up my thighs and that was when I was my heaviest at 153. I am now proudly 
between 140 and 141, but I got a little ways to go, but yay me. Um, so I was a little nervous trying these on, um, but guess what? They are stretchy. Um, they do feel the least little bit tight in my thighs. I mean, my legs are starting to slim down a little bit, thankfully. Um, but I mean, like, I, I'm comfortable with them. I think they're very, very pretty. They're nicely made. Um, and these are free with $2 shipping. Um, they did have other colors. They had white and I believe they had like a red, um, but I decided to try black. As I said, um, I just wanted to see how some of these items were and you know, if I decide to wear them out maybe this summer with something, um, hey, it's all about how I'm going to feel wearing them. Well, on that note, um, you know, this concludes my wish haul for today. Oh, before I forget, um, folks, I will be doing a wish nail review this Friday because yesterday I, uh, applied my first set of wish nails. I know it's been a little bit since I did, um, nail reviews, what with DIYs and doing the apartment cleaning and everything. I don't want to do anything that would damage nails, but I have a set on now for over 24 hours and so far so good. I'm having no issues with them. It takes a little bit of getting used to with nails this length because I do prefer a shorter length, but all in all, I have no problems with them. So Friday afternoon, we will see how they hold up and what my first impressions are of them. Well, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.